I'm here with uh, Fabio Bartolomei from Venus Ambis. Si, senor. And uh, we've been trying some of your, uh, your orange wines, Fabio. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? The orange wines, yes. Orange wines are, are kind of strange, you know, because not many people have, have heard about them. Um, but really, I mean, they're, they're very fashionable and they're very, uh, uh, you know, people are talking about them a lot. <laughs> And it's as if it were some kind of new thing, but it's not really a new thing, because they've been making them in Spain, as far as I know, in the area I'm in, in La Mancha, for like 50 years or 100 years. Uh, the only thing is that they've gone kind of out of fashion, and no one makes them anymore in Spain where, I, where I'm at. So all I'm doing, look, here's one. This is an, or this is an orange wine. That's this is, why, uh, this is Fabio's orange wine, and it looks uh, slightly cloudy. Uh, it's a bit cloudy. Cla Claudio Fabio. Cloudy Fabio. It's a bit cloudy, yes, because it got shuggled around, you know, but if you let it settle, if you let it sit the, the, the bottle vertical for a day or two, then it will be nice and nice and clear. What's happened is that the Americans in New York and in California, they've discovered them again, you know, and they've called them orange wines. And they, in Spanish they were called the Silver Madre, and they were made for, uh, you know, forever. And also in, in, in Italy they make them, in Friuli, um, they are very traditional, and in Georgia, of course, you know, they've been making orange wines there for like 10,000 years or, or whatever. So it's nothing new, really. And all it is, all, all it is, really, an orange wine is just, uh, it's just white grapes made as if they were red grapes. Um, so you let, the, you crush them and you let the, the wine sit on the skins for a few days, a certain number of days, as if it were an orange wine, and then you press them off. And that's what gives the, this color. This one's obviously from your vineyards in yep. uh, in Spain. Whereabouts in Spain are you? Um, right in the middle of Spain, uh, very near Madrid, about 50 kilometers from Madrid, uh, in a little town called uh, Villarejo de Salvanes. And it's on the road to Valencia, about 50 kilometers out of Madrid. And it's um, it's vineyard. And this grape variety is, is called Malvar, actually. It's called Malvar, M-A-L-V-A-R. And, and it's completely unknown and it's not very common because it also went out of fashion. No one knows about it, no one cares, no one... And, uh, and, um, and I like it. It's, um, it's interesting and it's, um, it's well worth recovering, I think. So um, I took this vineyard on even though, um, even though no one knows about this variety and no one really cares about it, um, I thought this is what there is, this is what there used to be here, mm -hmm. you know, let's uh, use what we've got, you know, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's work with what we've got here, and let's not let it be extinct like so many other great varieties that have disappeared, you know.